A-level physics people, just one more exam to go. The journey is almost over. So um, what can you expect? Well, I've got no idea. I haven't seen the papers, but based on how the exams have been so far, I reckon it's going to be okay. Now, of course, if you're at Edexcel and OCR and Educas, all of your exams have been going pretty straightforward. I know the, the first OCR A paper was a little bit tricky, but basically a lot of the exam is gonna be the same kind of knowledge, just assessed with these kind of more synoptic questions. For those of you who are watching our AQA, the biggest exam board, um, I reckon that there are three ways in which paper three can go. Now, the first one is it's gonna be harder and more difficult than paper two. However, I think that this option is pretty unlikely because paper two was just a little bit too difficult. I'm sure you know that. Um, and actually, you know, the teachers, they share the same opinion. Individually, the questions, if you were to have lots of time and were to maybe discuss things and work through it in class, each question was okay. But actually, they had the harder questions at the start of the exam, and then the questions seemed to get easier. So questions one and two were more difficult than the later ones. The early multiple choice took longer than the later ones. So um, I don't see how it can be worse than that. The second option is that paper three, and especially paper 3A, is going to be the same as paper two in terms of its level of challenge. Now, of course, if that's the case, then you've got to think about being smart with your exam technique, knowing that everybody else is gonna find it difficult anyway, which means the grade boundary is going to be lower, and actually realizing that the first question isn't necessarily the easiest. If you find there's a question that's taking you too long, you've gotta leave it, move on, get the easy marks maybe later in the paper, and then come back to it. However, I think that's still quite unlikely. I'm thinking, fingers crossed, that actually paper 3A in particular is going to be much more like paper one that you did this year, which was absolutely fine. I think this is because, you know, paper 3A last year was so difficult uh, and they kind of messed it up a bit there in terms of the level of difficulty. They should have learned from that to make paper 3A a bit more accessible this year. Generally though, uh, the optional topics, you know, if that's astro, medical, turning points, they always seem to be quite nice and actually quite similar year on year. And there are plenty of past papers that you can use to have a look at those. So yeah, that is my prediction. Um, I don't think it's gonna be more difficult. I don't think it's gonna be as difficult. I reckon it's gonna be better than paper two. Fingers crossed. And I hope that gives you a bit of reassurance as you go into this. Of course, um, I suppose I've got a couple more live streams to go where I'm gonna go through bits and pieces. I do have some practice papers that you can download for paper 3A to kind of get a bit more practice. Uh, you can buy those in my shop. But what uh, I'd really like is if you do have the time, uh, maybe just email your teachers, maybe recommending some of the resources that I've made, if that's things like my daily workout books, uh, again, available on Amazon, if it's uh, getting a school subscription to A-Level Physics Online, um, just things that your, your teachers might not be aware of. And actually, if you found it useful and you can share that with your teachers, that would go a long way to helping share what I'm doing for the future generations coming through. And of course, I've got big plans to kind of keep investing in my business to make more resources for future students. So yeah, uh, this could well be the end of the journey. So it's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you much for watching my videos. And I really hope that paper three uh, goes well for anybody who's got the exams coming up. Thank you and goodbye.